Hey, yeah. Tell me what happened. What happened? What happened between you and... To my dad, so I pulled up on him. What's up with it, man? Well, they rolled up on you or you rolled up on them? Nah, he came over here. He's not even supposed to sit here. And which one was it? The, 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 the heavier one. You know 60. what I mean? Yeah, the one that went 60, but I ain't no f***ing tangle. Ain't nobody pull up to me like that. I told him, let's get it. If he wants to get it right here, he ain't want to do nothing. He waited until people pulled him back, and then he made a big f***ing deal. You know, I saw David Benavides is here tonight. You just we watched him fight. That is next. We want him. Benavi that is next. Hey, baby, you got it next. <laughs> what, is, what is it? That's who we want. He's here somewhere. Yeah, ben, ben, I want to. I want to fight Benavides, man. What, what, what's it going to be? <laughs> it's next. Dante's Boxing Nation. What's going on, guys? Man, this is pretty wild. So after David Morrell just completely violates David Benavides because of Benavides saying that he hasn't agreed to fighting David Morrell at all, after there was a report by Dan Raphael that the fight was pretty much agreed upon and it was going to be in October and November. Benavidez came out and he said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I never agreed to fighting this guy. And of course, he received a lot of backlash for saying that because this is a really big fight. And this would have been the biggest challenge of David Benavidez's career. These are the type of fights that David Benavidez has been craving for, or at least that's what he's been saying. So when Benavidez came out and he said that I haven't agreed to anything, David Morrell completely let him have it. Morel is putting a lot of pressure on David Benavidez to take this fight because David Benavidez doesn't really have any other options when it comes to big fights. He's not going to get the Canelo Alvarez fight and he's not going to get the Charlo fight because Charlo might end up fighting against Canelo or Charlo might end up fighting against Demetrius Andre. So David Morel is the fight that makes the most sense, especially after everything that he just said about David Benavidez. And we know that soon as Charlo started talking about David Benavidez at 160, David was all over Charlo. Now everything David Benavidez was saying about Charlo, David Morrell is saying it about David Benavidez. And after Morrell said everything he said about David Benavidez, Benavidez says something that I thought I would never hear him say, which is something that you would usually hear from Canelo. He said he thinks David Morrell needs to build up his name a little bit more. Now, the reason why this is one of the worst things David Benavidez could have said is because David Benavidez is the same fighter that fought Kyron Davis, Ronald Ellis, and Alexis Angulo. And none of those fighters had to build their name up to get a David Benavidez fight. So the only way David Benavidez could even justify saying something like that is if his next opponent has a bigger name than David Morrell. So with that being said, Clarissa Shields, she actually chimed in after all of the stuff that uh, David Morrell said about Benavidez. And she says to Morrell, oh, he talking to the right one. Benavidez gonna hurt him. I find it pretty interesting that she chose this fight to kind of give somewhat of her prediction, voluntarily give her prediction on what would happen if the actual fight comes to fruition. I'm wondering what flaws does she even see in David Morrell? And from what Clarissa Shields said about Benavidez's last performance against Caleb Plant, it sounded like she wasn't that impressed with David Benavidez. The two undisputed champions, Alicia Baumgartner and Clarissa Shields, they had a brief exchange on Twitter. Alicia said, them chopping punches working. Clarissa, she responded by saying, he just strong, bro. No technique, just everything hurt, bro. With a comment like that, it makes you wonder if what Clarissa is saying right now is damage control from what she said back then because of the backlash she got from the Mexican fans. But regardless if that's the case or not, what Clarissa is actually doing is she's putting even more pressure on David to take this fight. Imagine you're in a situation where you're at a club or some type of gathering, right? And there's some dude testing you. He's calling you out of your name. He's challenging you to a fight and you decide to walk away. You get your stuff and you're like, come on, let's go. We getting out of here, right? Now as you're leaving the club, your girlfriend, she starts yelling at the dudes that was challenging you to a fight. She starts telling them, my man to kick your ass. Matter of fact, he'll kick all your ass, right? Well, that girlfriend right now is Clarissa Shields and David Benavidez might be saying, hey Clarissa, 
I appreciate you trying to help, but you don't have to do me no more damn favors. At the end of the day, if you've been watching boxing long enough, then you know that usually when you hear a fighter say, oh, that guy needs to build up his name, the translation is, that's a dangerous ass fight. In fact, it might be the most dangerous fight. I've been telling you guys for quite some time that I always felt that David Morrell is the most skilled, talented fighter at 168. And I believe that he will definitely beat David Benavidez. I've been telling you guys this for quite some time. Usually when David Benavidez is fighting, he's the much taller, bigger, longer fighter with all the power. But when it comes to David Morrell, he's just as big. He's just as long. He has dangerous power. But more importantly, he has a high boxing IQ. He can fight on the inside and the outside. He's extremely athletic and he's a southpaw. And if you guys just look at the success that Ronald Ellis had against David Benavidez, Anthony Durrell had against David Benavidez, Caleb Plant had against DB. David Morrell is levels and levels and levels above all of those fighters. And there's no one that understands that more than David Benavidez. So even though DB, he doesn't sound like he's in a hurry to take this fight, there's still a good chance that this fight can happen and happen soon because once again, Benavidez doesn't have too many options. And the fact that Benavidez is a little reluctant to take the fight right now, and Morrell and Benavidez are both PBC fighters, Al Heyman is most likely going to end up offering Benavidez even more money to take the fight because of the risk, because of the reluctance that David Benavidez is showing. Al Heyman has done this on many occasions. That's how we got some of the biggest fights on PBC because he offers the money. He tells them, don't worry. If you lose, we're going to bring you right back. That's how Al Heyman got Leo Santa Cruz to take the Javante Tank Davis fight. That's how he got Adrian Broner to move up and wait and take the Sean Porter fight. So my point is, there's going to be a lot of pressure on David Benavidez to take this Morrell fight. And I wouldn't be surprised if he actually takes it really soon. Let's see how it plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.